Hey Bruce, today we're giving you a glimpse of our daily routine as digital nomads living and working in the most beautiful city of Cape Town. Whether you're interested in the digital nomad lifestyle or if you're simply curious about what it's like to work in this amazing city, we've got you covered. Our days typically start very slowly. We wake up, make coffee, and then we make breakfast and just ease into the day. Those people that hit the ground running from the get-go as soon as they wake up. Yeah, how do you guys do that? That's not that say. <laughs> we also really enjoy eating breakfast at home. We don't like going out to breakfast first thing in the morning, so we buy groceries every week or so. And these Bowls of granola probably cost less than a dollar. But yeah, time to eat this and then get the day started. As digital nomads in Cape Town, we typically start our day by working from our cozy apartment in the morning. We're fortunate enough to have found the most charming loft apartment right in the heart of the city with a breathtaking view of Table Mountain from our rooftop. Our accommodation is located in the bustling central business district on Adley Street at a place called Neighborhood Reserve. It's the perfect location to experience all the energy and vibrancy of Cape Town. What's nice about staying at Neighbor Good is that it's a collective of digital nomad accommodations and co-working spaces across the city. If you stay at any of their spots, you'll have full access to their co-working facilities. <gasps> Awesome! Speaking of co-working, we like to head to a cafe or co-working spot for the second part of our day. We've got a five minute walk right now to Bree Street to a favorite co-working spot of ours, Neighborhood on Bree. It offers private offices, dedicated desks, hot desks, meeting rooms, high-speed internet, printing facilities, a fully equipped kitchen, and a cute little courtyard. Right, so we just ordered us a second breakfast. It's a lovely croissant with eggs and bacon, and I've got my favorite like oats and nuts, banana, love it. The meals were around 70 Rand each, and the coffees were around 40 Rand each, totaling around 200 Rand, not bad. So that's pretty much the average price you can expect to pay for lunch or breakfast here in Cape Town at cafes and some of the co-working spots. Speaking of coffees, coffee is literally life along with wine here in Cape Town. So we have a massive coffee scene. There's fantastic coffee throughout the country, but specifically in Cape Town, there's a big scene for that. Lots of cafes, lots of roasteries. We've actually got a very famous one called Truth Coffee. You can go and check that out. So with lots of different cafes and coffee shops comes lots of variety in terms of places to work from. So if the neighbor goods and co-working isn't your vibe, or you don't want to pay for the monthly subscription to attend these places, there's definitely a whole host of decent coffee shops you can work from so we'll put our favorite coffee shops on the screen now for you to go through and we will also leave them in our Cape Town resource pack on our Google Maps link there and then of course if you are not staying at one of the neighborhood properties then the cost to work here I've just got the price list here now is 290 Rand for a day pass the hot desks for non dedicated are 2480 Rand for the month and then a dedicated hot desk is 3,000 Rand a month. So that is basically the pricing here. Um, definitely a little bit cheaper than some of the co-working spots in Changu, Bali, that's for sure. Next on the list, we usually cover language, but there isn't really much to mention this time around because 99% of South Africans actually speak fluent English. So there's definitely no language barrier like you'll find in other places like Mexico and sometimes even in Indonesia, for example. Okay, the working day is finished, but before we go on to our next activity, let's just give you a quick little tour of our cutie patootie apartment. 
So basically this is it. <laughs> no, actually let's start at the bathroom. Very cute little bathroom, shower, sink and toilet. They give you shampoo and conditioners and everything here. This is not a co-living. They are private apartments in this building, but they've got many co-livings all around the city. We just checked out the Hill property, which is really cute. You guys should check that one out too if you want to be around other people. This is very private and secluded. Anyway, we've got lots of cupboard space. We've got a beautiful fridge and freezer, fully equipped kitchen with four of everything. We've got a microwave and an oven, a stove, everything you need for cooking. We've got a big TV here and a workspace downstairs here as well as upstairs. That's a game changer for us. We've never actually had two workspaces. Usually Red takes the one workspace and then I just work off the bed or the couch or whatever, but I have my own one this time. Uh, anyway, then we've got this cute little lounge and this L-shaped couch. It's just it's just so sweet guys, isn't it? Oh, it's so cozy and the plants and everything make it feel so homey and then obviously upstairs We've got a cupboard more cupboard space for our clothing and a nice bed with very good linen and pillows and everything. Everything we need is in this place. This building actually used to be the old reserve bank of Cape Town, so it's a very unique building. It's old, beautiful. Our laundry room is in one of the old vaults. I mean, how cool is that? We love this apartment so much, but there are definitely two downsides to it. Number one, it does not have air conditioning, and in summer, it can get very, very hot. They didn't even give a fan either, so we cooked our first few days here. It does get cooler, you know, Cape Town weather does have ups and downs, so it was only a few days. And the second thing is, it's actually pretty expensive. We got a good deal because we're South African and we contacted them, but generally this place is very expensive. You would have to look at their other properties if you're looking for a budget option, but they are very much a premium brand and they are catering to a lot of foreign tourists and digital nomads as well that are used to paying European and American pricing. So yeah. That's just two downsides to it, but it's cute, it's comfortable, we love it, and did I say there's no low shedding? <laughs> Game changer. <laughs> funny situation. Speaking of cars, the next thing to talk about is transportation. Okay, so there's a number of ways that you can get around Cape Town. We obviously have our own car, so that's what we do. We use the car if we have to drive more than a few kilometers at a time, otherwise you just walk around. But the second most popular way of getting around is Uber, that's definitely reliable. It is affordable here as well. The third way is a lot of foreigners, if they're here for like six months, they rent a car. That just gives you ultimate freedom. It's so much easier if you've got your own transportation. And then the fourth way, if you are a real cool cat digital nomad, you can get yourself a boosted board, a scooter, a long board or a bicycle and get around the city that way because the city is relatively small and you can use those cool modes of transportation. But we just use our cute little Jimny. And then Clary did forget to mention there's one more thing you can use to get around and that's the public transport system. The My City Bus is pretty useful. It's very, very cheap. It'll get you pretty much everywhere you want to go in Cape Town. So definitely check that out if you are here. The only thing is the time. If you have to be somewhere in a rush, then obviously public buses are just slower. But everything is chilled here. Cape Town works on its own time, so you just use the city bus. There is a city bus bus stop right across from Neighbour Goods in Adderley Street, so it's very, very convenient. It's literally less than a minute walk across the street. And this is basically why this parking is a mission. We're on the seventh floor, and we have to turn in a square for seven floors, which is 28 times. 28 times! <laughs> it is a very secure parking there with security guards and a tappy thingy mob that we used to get in and out. 
But here's the city! Actually, fun fact, right across the road from us is the best restaurant in Cape Town, which is Fane. Not just the best in Cape Town, it's literally one of the top restaurants in the world. Go and Google it, it is very, very fancy. Hectic. I didn't know that. And then we've got other cute cafes and restaurants as well. There's a ramen restaurant. <laughs> also a Seattle coffee right chat too. There's food lovers market there where we get our grocery shopping. We literally walk for one minute and we're there. We've got Happy Hippo and just yeah lots of cafes and cute things around us there's even a mini mart that's run by a pakistani family so yeah quite a vibe and this is what the cbd looks like there's we work ah it's like a one minute drive from us two minutes and our friend lives up the road from us he's in devatican which is a really really nice area as well the neighbor goods has a property right there at the cape quarter this actually sounds like we're doing an advert for neighbor goods, this whole video. <laughs> Promise it is not sponsored. Not sponsored, but we just really appreciate businesses that cater to digital nomads and do like a month-to-month -month accommodation option because there's not many of those options in Cape Town, to be honest. It's not as easy as what it is in Bali and Thailand and stuff. And there we go, there's neighbor good in the Cape Quarter. This is Devatakant. It's a very, very nice area. And further that way is Sea Point, which is our personal favorite area so once the working day is over we always make sure to have time for health and wellness and we've got such a cool gym to show you guys there's so much here at this gym there is a squash court there's a volleyball court there's tennis courts there's spinning classes weightlifting everything a swimming pool sauna yoga classes boxing classes this gym has it all and it's only like 50 dollars a month for us to come here how cool is that they even have a swimming pool and grass area so if you don't have a swimming pool at your apartment you can come lie in the sun and swim and of course our favorite thing to do at the gym is to just come and play a game of tennis at least once a week it's so amazing so Claire and I have been practicing our game I used to play quite a bit when I was a youngster almost every single day of my life and I'm just teaching Clary and she's getting really really good actually so you'll see some of that now and then if we're not gonna play a game of tennis we'll just do some cardio on the machines inside and a little bit of weightlifting we just at least try to come to the gym four times a week I'd say for about an hour and look what Scallywag has joined us on the vlog today uh, Trevi! Are we upside down? Or is that just the screen? Yeah, I think we are upside down. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. We always gym together. We are together all the time. Check out his channel. We'll leave it in the description. No, don't. Some cool Cape Town and Bali content. Terrible content. <laughs> I really didn't feel like coming to the gym today. Most days I don't feel like coming, but I'm always so tough that I do. So good for mental health. Anyway, this is what the gym looks like around me. That behind me is the cafe where we get healthy smoothies and healthy protein shakes and meals and everything. It's called New Cafe and they're all over Cape Town as well. Let's go see what Chevy and Rex are doing though. swimwear at the gym because we come straight from the gym to Saunders to have a nice little dip and as if things couldn't get more beautiful there are whales right there that we can see right now I mean this place guys this is what you get to experience on the daily literally pinch me Oh, 
really cold already. I spot the <laughs> There is a nanny today. There's honestly nothing better than coming here after a long day of work. You're being stuck up in your apartment or at a co-working job. It's just amazing to come here and smell the fresh air, listen to the waves crashing on the rocks, get in the cold water and just soak in these sun rays. It's about 25 degrees today. The weather is absolutely perfect if you come here in the summer. It's just amazing. This is Saunders Rock Pool. You've seen it in our previous videos, but this is like Cape Town's local watering hole. Everyone comes at the sunset time. They even do it sometimes first thing in the morning. So if you're an early riser, then you can come here at like sunrise and you'll see there's a whole crew, but the crew in the morning take this dipping way seriously Those like the serious eggs. Wim Hof is their god. This is where the vibe is at. This is what the Cape Town vibe is. Like everyone just loves being in nature somehow in the sun socializing. You come here to socialize with your friends and soon Trav is bringing Maui the dog. And we just love it so much. It's such a vibe. And if you happen to see all those people, there's probably about a hundred people right there. Every single Wednesday at 6 p.m. everyone gathers over here and gets ready to do a five kilometer run through to Clifton Beach and back. So if you do like to run, there is this running late club on a Wednesday. There's so many clubs that happen. There's friends who volley on a Thursday. On Tuesdays it's sunset yoga and our friend Megs is currently doing that run and we'll see her in like half an hour afterwards. It's either being in nature or doing some kind of physical activity is how you socialize here. It's part of the life. It is so wholesome, so healthy and yeah, ash markets. <laughs> And we are back home in our wonderful abode. That's a typical day in our lives here in Cape Town. There's actually so much more to do and you can like go on hikes rather than going to Saunders and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, this is the way we like to do it. But every day is kind of different. And then after Saunders, we actually really love to go and get dinner from Mojo Markets. They've got food from all over the world. We usually get Mexican or Indian or sometimes Indonesian and Chinese. But we were so cold that we decided to come home. But we'll put some footage up of mojo market now it's such a vibe there's often live music there we always go there with friends and catch up and it's just down the road from saunders as well instead we are going to order from nando's tonight e well uber eats and nando's is our favorite so oh my that's gosh. pretty much our go-to we don't have to think about it we have favorite meals there that we get and it's around 50 bucks a meal so really affordable we get these hot pots from nando's but yeah we're going to just eat nando's and watch some series get some work done that we didn't get done today and red will probably play games we're so grateful for not having load shedding in this place because often people get load shedding at 8 p.m and you have to quickly scramble to get dinner it's our number one tip when you come to cape town just try and find accommodation that has not got load shedding or if they have a ups or something because load shedding does get in the way of things like this when it comes to the evening time and you have to sit in darkness and all sorts of stuff overall we absolutely love our life here in Cape Town and everyone that we know that has come here has absolutely loved it and raved about staying here. We highly recommend at least three to six months of living here. If you've ever had a thought about coming to Cape Town definitely book your flights and come through and of course if you have any questions hit us up in the Instagram or comment down below in this video. For the next thing you can watch check out our 15 things to do in Cape Town and of course the full guide on Cape Town is linked right here so go and check that out if you want to come and visit. Otherwise we hope Hope you guys found this video informative and interesting and let us know in the comments down below if you want other videos made of Cape Town. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.